Okay, so I'm going to start on my second layout using the Studio Calico Expedition Kit for June. And I have these two photos from when I went to Nashville to teach at the Scrap Gals Retreat this last October. And I thought it would be fun to do something where I made it look like the tickets were borders. And then this is one of the add-on uh, stamp sets that you can purchase. And it has a lot of really cute icons and phrases. And I thought these would be fun to stamp onto the tickets. So that's my plan. And I'm going to go ahead and push fast forward and get started. All right, so I'm starting by looking through my ink swatches, which is something I did one day when I was procrastinating doing actual scrapbooking. <laughs> I uh, went through and did swatches of all my inks, and I stuck them in these baseball card holders. But um, what I'm doing now is trying to find colors that match the colors in the tickets. And so I'm going to pull out a bunch of inks. I don't use all of them, but I use a bunch. And so I've got my Allie Edwards Tillamook, some close to my heart, I think it's Hollyhock, I don't know if they even sell that color anymore, Distress Oxide and Cracked Pistachio, uh, I think I'm going to get close to my heart Pacifica Pigment Ink. The pigment inks were really working for me on this one because they have a brighter, a lot of them have a brighter kind of color look. I don't know, they just seemed like they were going to work. And then I also pulled out a Hero Arts uh, shadow ink in fresh peach and then Astoria from Ally Edwards which I don't end up using I don't think uh, so now I'm gonna figure out what I want to go on each ticket and I am going to stamp on most of them and you can see I'm just I rubbed the stamp on the back of my hand because that helps to season the stamp and so I stamped around town and I used, I think it's peacock ink from Close to My Heart. I love that blue color and it was perfect. I used it a few times and I'm gonna use it again for this little, it's kind of like a little circular element. Uh, at least I think I'm using it again, yeah I am. On this ticket that just has the red lines on it and I love the way that looks. It has like two little Polaroid pictures in the center and it says picture perfect. It's really really cute and I think that these tickets are just really fun when you add the stamps to them. So on the ones that are darker like the more solid colors I'm gonna stamp some white at least on this blue one and I'm using my white picket fence distress ink no, I don't actually use that. I use Close to My Heart Colonial White because it showed up more. Uh, it does take a bit of time to dry, but what I end up doing is stamping it three times on this ticket. And so rather than stamping it once because it wouldn't have filled the space, I just stamped it three times across, and I think that looks fine. Uh, it wasn't my favorite, favorite thing, but it, I think it looks okay. Um, and then I will bring that back later and stamp again on another piece. So here I'm trying to decide what I want to stamp on the orange and what I'm going to stamp on that other one. And I decide to use the fresh peach ink with the words explore more on that blue ticket. And I really like the way that looks. And <laughs> right now what I'm trying to do is get a good balance of color on the top and bottom. And it feels very pink and blue on the bottom and very green and orange on the top. So I'm just, I'll move things around a little bit as I go along. Uh, you Sorry about my out of control curly head going in and out. Um, I stamped time for fun and I didn't quite get it exactly right so I just used the tip of a mechanical pencil without the lead pushed out and dipped it in my ink and just filled in the T. Uh, if I would have been using my uh, stamp platform from Tim Holtz that I have I wouldn't that wouldn't have happened because I could have stamped it again right in the same spot but I wasn't. I was just using my ink or my stamp block so that ended up working fine for me. So to mimic the subway or the trains at the bottom, I stamped the globes on the green and that worked out nicely. And now I'm trying to decide if I want to use this uh, pick pistachio ink to stamp and I decide to go ahead with that and it says relax and enjoy. And I really like the way the words look on the tickets. It's just super fun and super cute. So now I just have my one last ticket and it's this pink one and I'm trying to decide do I want to do tone on tone or what color am I going to stamp on here? And I'm pretty sure I do want to do like a tonal kind of look. Um, I kind of, I can't decide if it's too much pink down here. But anyway, I stamped the fresh peach on it with another one of those circular kind of stamps that has a geotag on it. And I really like the way that ends up looking. And so now I have all of my little tickets stamped on. And I, you'll see I didn't use those too close to my heart little pigment inks that I pulled out. I didn't need them. And I'm trying to decide if I want to add some of these little banner or the little fabric flags on 
to hear. And I will end up adding, I think, at least two. I just think they're so adorable. And they just look really cute on the side of a photo. So what I'm going to do is put it on and then I will staple it just for not added, uh, like I don't need the staple, but it's just for the look of it. So I do staple that on and then I will do another one on the other photo you'll see in a minute. So at this point, I'm deciding to move everything down because I'm thinking I want the, the title to be above my uh, above my tickets. And I thought maybe I could do downtown, but that I only had one of each letter. So I, I was able to spell the word city. And so I thought maybe... I could do City Fun. And this is Nashville, as I mentioned at the beginning. So it's um, downtown Nashville. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we did there. And at this point, I'm trying to decide, do I want it above the photos? Do I want it below the photos? I felt like, I don't know, something was bothering me about the way it rested right on top of those tickets. I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and glue down my photos. And then I will get my tickets Put down as well this this layout was very quick to make and if you created something similar I mean you just have a few tickets I really didn't add anything else to this layout uh, it was very fast and so it's just the two little borders with the stamping on it and the title and the journaling pretty much um, I'm taking my heat gun and trying to dry that <laughs> that ink that is taking forever to dry it's it's a pigment ink and it takes a while uh, so I will dry it as best I can and then I kind of I think I place a just a piece of paper over the top of it to see if it's dry maybe not on that one but I think I do on the other one anyway it doesn't matter um, you just want to make sure that it's completely dry because especially in a second I'm going to run this through my sewing machine and if it's not dry that ink will drag everywhere and it will uh, get all smudged and messed up. So I didn't want that to happen for sure. So definitely being careful. Now the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide, it has, it's a hybrid ink. It has like pigment and dye in it and it dries a lot faster. So that's nice. But um, also this orange one, the Ali Edwards Tillamook ink, it's a it's a pigment ink as well. So just making sure all of those are dry, very important. Um, I'm moving everything out of the way so I can pull my sewing machine over and I'm just going to stitch two lines. I usually keep white thread in my sewing machine. I'm gonna stitch a line on the top and the bottom of the row of tickets. Uh, so there you can see I've sewed one line. Oh, I'm making sure everything's nice and straight. One line across the top of the tickets. Now I'll sew another line across the bottom of the tickets and then I'll go to the tickets that are below the photos and do the same thing. And it's just really, really simple to do. I love using my sewing machine on my layouts. I rarely use it for sewing anything else. Uh, although when I first got it, I did buy it to sew like real fabric and stuff, but I got it for, I actually got that for Christmas when I was in junior high. So I've had that for a long time, a really long time. And it's just been a little work horse for me. It's a Kenmore. Um, anyway, so what I'm doing now is pulling the threads through to the back. And then I'm going to use some tape to, some washi tape just to tape down the ends. And I'll trim the excess threads that are hanging off the sides. And that... I like pulling the threads through to the back if I don't want them hanging on the front because I feel like it's just a little bit more secure and you get a nice clean finished look on the front. So now that I've put those uh, threads to the back and I've sewed those tickets down, I'm going to rough up the edges of the tickets just a little bit because that's one of my favorite things when I sew things down. I like to rough up the edges and it really draws your attention to the fact that there is sewing, especially when it's white on white like this. It's pretty subtle. Um, I just really love that look. So I got myself a T-square ruler, finally. I couldn't find one forever. And then the other day at Hobby, or at Michael's? Yeah, Michael's, I found one and I was very excited. And I used it to draw lines for my journaling. I don't use a ruler very often, but I've wanted a T-square ruler for a while. So at this point, I'm thinking I need to make the words city fun stretch a little bit more. And so I thought about putting a circle in between the words and I, from the chipboard, I could not find one that looked quite right. It just, I don't know. It, the pink one wasn't quite big enough and it didn't say the right things. And then the orange one was too much orange next to the other orange. 
I don't know I just wasn't having it but at this point I'm thinking I'm going with that pink and I'm gluing down the letter stickers and I'm using my t-square ruler as a guide for my line um, just so that I can make sure I get it straight and I'm using my scotch quick dry adhesive in my fine line bottle to glue those down and I'm gonna uh, do the word fun now so I'm I start from the outsides and work my way in because then I'll have um, just that space in the center that I, where I can center the circle and it won't matter if there's a little bit of space between the words. So here I'm just trying to decide, do I want this one or this one? And I decide on the pink one, so I put it down and I will change my mind in a second because I don't know why, I just didn't love it. And when I change it, I realize later that it kind of ends up looking like City of Fun, except for there's not an extra F. And that's fine. Whatever. I'm, I'm over it now. Um, but here's where I'm trying to decide if I want to add another little fabric tag. And then I also found that I wanted to add this wood veneer piece in the center that has a globe on it. And I like that a lot. Now, like I mentioned, it's the same size as the letters. And so that's why it kind of looks like City of Fun. But I'm okay with it. So... At this point, I'm thinking, do I want to add anything else? Do I want like a border strip or um, what else do I need? I'm going to add this little fabric flag to the uh, right of my of my right hand side photo. And I'm going to staple that down just like I did with the other one. And that's pretty much going to complete this. I will add the date with my roller date stamp and then it's going to be finished. So this was a super simple one. I had so much fun creating with those stamps, uh, stamping them on the tickets. I just thought that was a really fun idea. And I, um, I was trying to decide what color I should stamp my date at this point. So I decided to do it in this blue color and I'm really happy with the way that ended up looking. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll check out these kits. They're still available over at studiocalico.com. I'll leave links in the video description to the products that I used. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you'll join me again very soon.